one thing i have you know discovered in life especially on social media is there are some women that when they are not in happy homes they get angry at people that you know they see that they are in happy homes they get angry at people that are proud of their wives or proud of their husbands they get te terribly angry they are not happy they are not happy they be like uh uh your own cannot be good if my own is not good and this is what is just happening between vicky james and jaruma you know initially when i knew jaruma i always asked myself this if jaruma's home was this perfect and she doesn't want somebody to destroy her home why is it that jaruma is selling kayamata products and targeting at young ladies you know that should you know come and snatch other people husbands whenever she's doing an advert you see her saying things like oh when you wear this bead or when you lick this thing or when you rub this thing somewhere here yeah, you know uh, you'll be able to catch sugar daddies and you guys know that sugar daddies most sugar daddies are not single most sugar daddies are people that their wives you know have built homes with they made money today and you are teaching younger girls to come and snatch that sugar daddy from their you know from their from their wives and it's no good as a married woman i used to think that jaruma's wedding was a uh, marriage was you know you know a perfect one because i feel that okay she's taking her products right up until we now found that when jaruma and regina daniel's matter you know escalated that's when i now finally noticed that ah it'd be like say even the things that jaruma they sell were not real when um regina daniel said that the things are not real she doesn't use them it was just an advert promotion hmm see you see jaruma coming out to say that vicky james is also borrowing her husband buying husband you know just for social media views and all that that vicky james is just renting a man ha so that means it's not very very much confirmed with what jaruma said in her own voice saying that she actually rented her own man just for content creation so is it that wedding that we're thinking you know the marriage we're thinking that was so perfect you know them flying to different places today you will see jaruma in um in uh, abu dhabi tomorrow she'll, she'll tell you that she's in um on dubai you know from one high tall skyscraper she'll say the whole of that building there is their house they just bought it you see jaruma traveling in abuja jaruma have like three houses all those things were all fake now this is not me saying that social media is you know a bad place but no but just know that social media has fake places and you see those people living the fake lives claiming to be you know in better places the moment they spot the one that's in good place and not claiming not f not not forcing it people just see through the person that the person is you know okay they get mad and they get pissed and before you know they start coming on social media to say certain things that will start making people know that yeah this person is jealous of this person and that's exactly what is happening between jaruma and vicky james if vicky james borrowed the man will she do that kind of lavish wedding that their wedding that was talk of the town that day it was talk of the town their wedding trainer for over two weeks yes we all made videos i made a lot of videos about vicky james wedding on my other channel i made a lot of videos and i made money out of it because it was a trending video this place where they say oh vicky james was kissing a man who we'll carried who we'll post it oh vicky james said uh, uh, wedding gown they were fine who we'll carried to we'll post different kind of in fact me i even made a particular video where i put all the dresses vicky james wore on our wedding day i made such videos on my on my other channel so such a wedding that trended do you think if it was just a borrowed post husband or a rented husband you would think that vicky jones would go ahead to spend all those money she would just do a very simple wedding she would just do one wedding that nobody will, will hear you just see her wearing a ring so jaruma coming out to say that kind of thing it looks like she's just jealous of vicky james there are so many women when their things don't work out when their marriages are not working out they're just jealous of the other person that they think the marriage is working out working out so see our social media be like this if you know that <laughs> you have a beautiful home i beg carry your home enter house because there are some people they don't want to see both of you together they don't want to see that marriage flourishing so don't show them the best thing don't show them carry your mother enter house but you see for the life of vicky james now she cannot carry the man and enter house ask me why because the guy is also a social media influencer now they have a vlog channel they are doing well it's a couple channel now she he cannot go inside except maybe they were not couple channel and then you cannot tell the person like the, the other day where blessing ceo came to advise vicky james to carry your man in the house because people i did this your man body people love to have this your man for themselves they wish to have it so that's why they are looking down on him saying a lot of bad things about him carry him inside house but vicky james no yeah he still go open vlog channel because you're not going to blame her 
there are a couple that are vloggers there are a couple channels you're not going to blame them because somebody somewhere is jealous of the the family does that mean that the woman will stop vlogging with her husband no no me too i don't support it saying that she should take the man inside as long as they have love together hair eh? she can be bringing him out they will be making the money together you know except when she sees that maybe ah this thing is this thing is too much then she can take him inside but for me, if you just normal social media talk here and there, this and that, she can decide to be, you know, showing him off and still making money because they are making money from showing him off. So many people are watching Vicky James vlog channel, not because of the food she's cooking, not even because of her, but because they want to see her fine husband. You know what I say? Before people go, they drag the husband like this now because they see potential for him body. They see something good inside him. That's why they're dragging him up and down. So you get the point. So for Jaruma already saying that she knows that Vicky James is also renting a husband, that is very bad. Even if you know or you think so, why not keep it to yourself, madam? And that is why I tell you people, all these interviews and podcasts, then now then they destroy this life. If another they scatter social media, podcasts now one problem. Because some people when they are talking, they will not know when they say things. Jaruma, when I was seeing Jaruma beautiful home, I used to enjoy her, love her so much. I never knew then that ah. The marriage self na fake na borrow a borrow man, he rent man. I never knew until now that she's even saying it. Because even when the marriage crashed, and you know, Jaruma was even, you know, they said that by the time Jaruma was even in this thing, but you know, all those times we were like, ah, this Jaruma that for me, I like Jaruma because she was beautiful. She's a black beauty. I love that, and I love how she speak. That's why I was watching Jaruma, but I never supported the fact that she would be selling things for people to break people's home. If she was actually selling things to only married women. Though there were some that she was selling to married women, but if she was selling to only married women, how to even keep their homes? And uh -huh. maybe I for say, uh, because you see, you see, our sons they actually believe in some kind of thing. They, according to them, this Kayamata is not juju. That Kayamata is just love, um, elves that make your man to love you. That's what they normally say. You get the point. But later, people not saying that Kayamata is juju because it's snatching people's husbands from them. Sure, you get that is when people not saying Kayamata is a different thing. But I heard that those days in Alsa land, Kayamata is something that even your mother can give to you when you are going to your husband's house, when you are married to your husband. So, you know, make that your, you know, body sweet for your husband to continue to love you for the marriage to have peace and harmony. That's what I used to think. That's what Alsa's, that's what I read online. Not knowing that, you know, social media influencers, our Instagram buddies will turn Kayamata into something else. Now, this is not me saying that Kayamata has totally become a bad thing, no. But the Alsa still know how their pure Kayamata is. All I'm saying here is that Jaruma, no matter what you have done in the past, I'm not going to judge you. But coming out rightly to come and say that even Vicky James is on the table of renting a man for content. No, Vicky James alone is not just a content creator. She is a body designer. Without content creating, Vicky James goes to chop where she can still travel, do whatever she's doing. That's what people don't know. People see people come on social media and want to make extra income, and they automatically feel that without the social media, that person cannot feed. But you are seeing that person's life that without social media, the person was doing well. Before Vicky James created this vlog channel and started posting her husband, she was already doing well. She had a business, yo. So coming to say that she's using the husband to create content. Ah, okay, how many views she done they get? Is it because her vlog channel is blowing up? How many views? Vicky James that said that her clothes are one million and above. You think that person is poor? Do you think Vicky James is poor if she's making dresses from one million and above? I have watched Vicky James do interview saying that she does not sell any dress below one million era. You know, yeah. So sometimes I think we should be giving these people some, you know, accolades. Anyway, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Bye for now, guys.